in your journey. We built this program in conjunction with the professional games industry and our goal was to train future professionals and future leaders in the games industry. There was a demand for this um, and no educational uh, institution was fulfilling that demand. So we were the first and with that collaboration we put together what we thought was the most rigorous program that would prepare someone to enter the industry at a two-year experience level. Your common core consists of game studies, game design, and team game production. All of those common core classes are designed to give you the opportunity to learn the business of gaming, to learn the methodology of gaming, and then to actually build games. Our students are continually working on games. We do three team game projects, which are pillars of our curriculum. Uh, of course, we have all four disciplines, one of the only schools that does have four, art, programming, design, and production. As a industry that requires interdisciplinary uh, cooperation and teamwork, we felt it was important to have all of those represented here at Guildhall. And we are one of the few programs that actually have all four specializations here working together. Without one, you won't get a complete education. You won't have the entire opportunity to build a game on a team that simulates what the industry does professionally. It's been awesome over the dozen plus years that we've been working with the Guild Hall, both affecting the curriculum. I, I've actually personally taught classes at the Guild Hall years ago, and it's been so much fun to interact with the students and to see who's got the right stuff and who gets it. Uh, and when we find those people that get it, we are so eager to have them join our team. Uh, and some of those students from the Guild Hall have been some of the most impactful uh, developers on the projects that we've released at Gearbox. We have a large alumni base who are very connected to us. Uh, we have people who have graduated and have become very advanced in their careers and have been head of large game projects and, and head of studios, which is great to see. Students who are coming out and starting their own game companies or getting there, as I say, it's always fun when they get the, the game job. That said, to put numbers on it specific, we have over 650 alumni and over 250 studios worldwide. I like to say if it's a, it's a game and it has any significant number of people working on it, probably someone from the Guild Hall worked on it. We have, from start to finish, from the inception of the Guild Hall to now, always made the industry's uh, dynamic and standards um, at the heart of how we develop our curriculum and how we prepare students um, for industry engagement once they graduate and beyond. Coming to the Guild Hall, I learned all the things that I needed to to get a, you know, a real job at a AAA company in the games industry. I didn't come out with a degree that would only get me certain types of jobs at certain types of companies making certain types of games. It was, no, you want to do the biggest, best stuff there is? This is where you go to get the education for it. And at Guildhall, we, we worked really, really hard. But we also had a lot of fun doing it because we were passionate about what we were doing. And I feel that same energy here. Um, which has been really great. And just being able to have that experience of being collaborative with um, just other departments at the Guild Hall transfers really well. Um, that's some of the best experience I had was just, we're gonna make a game, we decide what we're gonna do, and then we all get together, figure out how we're gonna do that thing, and then how, how, can, we, how can each of our talents contribute to that, and that's, um, that translates really well. So we have master classes where we have notables from the industry come in and speak to the students. Uh, it is neat to see our own alumni coming back and being a part of that. You know, you see this generational effect when we have our career fair. Many companies are very savvy and they send Guildhall alumni to be the interviewers and hiring managers of current Guildhall students because they understand it. Uh, and there are a number of companies who have built 
significant portions of their teams out of a graduating class. Most of the game companies require some kind of experience or a, a very decent resume to compete with all the other applicants that want to join people who work for the companies. And the Guild Hall was the only game development uh, educational program that offered basically teaching you everything that you need to know in order to get into the industry and also to succeed, especially for firms. Um, the, the teachers that they listed on their website were uh, some, of, some of the best I could find. We offer two modules um, strictly devoted towards professional development for our students. Um, so that encompasses all aspects, all nuances of the job seeking process from application towards accepting that actual position. Um, so that includes mock interviews, um, covering all the technical questions and dynamics that they're going to come across in those interviews, resume feedback, um, cover letter feedback, and something we really pride ourselves on is industry feedback on their portfolio websites as those develop them. Um, and that comes from a variety of our industry partners as well as over 650 of our alumni who are in some of the top studios throughout the country and beyond. I think it was a really good foot in the door entry into the gaming industry. Once you're in, you know, you can just, if you're good, you can really just go far and kind of show what you learned here. So, yeah, I really highly value the Guildhall education. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. Like, I think it really did a lot, a lot for me. I think it's really doing great things for the industry. And we've become known for our ability to take new concepts, bring them together, and pull them together in such a way that we are expanding the breadth of what the industry is able to do in terms of gameplay genres, gameplay technologies, and different user experiences. As we grow our research body here at Guildhall, we then incorporate those findings into our classrooms as well. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, our faculty all come from the games industry. We all have a minimum of 10 years experience before we started teaching here at Guildhall. So part of our DNA is the iterative process. So as we teach a class, we're always evaluating the student learning outcomes, um, getting feedback from our students, as well as working with our industry partners as they're reviewing portfolios, as they're giving guest lectures, as they are participating in the learning process as well. It amazes me as I walk among my colleagues and say, hey, that great game that's one of my favorites, they worked on that game and they worked on that game. We have hundreds of games uh, that have shipped uh, that have our faculty's credits in them. I worked in the games industry for about 12 years uh, and I worked at uh, Electronic Arts for about eight years and I worked at uh, Day One Studios for almost five years. So, um, and I've shipped probably close to nine or ten uh, AAA titles. You know, each each game uh, that you do is is a uh, just different experience. You know, and uh, you can take different things away from each one that you work at. You know, I take take them through the first art creation classes and they've never touched a 3D program. Teach them how to recognize shapes, reconstruct them, and even animation. And then the later classes is how to get a job in the industry. Um, you know, it's about your skills, it's about your personality, it's about your passion. I think history will look back and try to figure out where, you know, Hollywood of video games is. But I think it, it can be right here in, in North Texas, right here in Dallas. And, and obviously the Guild Hall is a huge part of that. When I first moved out here uh, to work on my first commercial video game project called Duke Nukem 3D. And Duke Nukem was one of a handful of games that really created uh, the, the, what, what we know today as uh, first person and 3D video games. I mean, these were the, these, this was the vanguard of 3D graphics and we were doing it right here in Dallas. And since we've been here, look at what's, what's spawned up around us. We have the Guild Hall now. You can actually go to school and learn how to become a game maker and you can learn with pros. There are, are people that, that have shipped some of the best video games that Gearbox has ever worked on that are part of the faculty at the, at the Guild Hall. And, and, uh, and not just Gearbox, but other great studios around Dallas and around the world. Uh, and, and this is just a, a, an incredible environment and it's getting better every day. One of the things that Guildhall does is I believe it is training the keepers and the definers of tomorrow's culture. And one of the things that the university can do well is it can bring um, be a bridge and bring in a diverse set of people with a diverse set of ideas into that club of people who define that culture. And that 
is world changing and not a nice to have but a need to have. We're very proud of our rankings and I think it really reflects the quality of our faculty, the quality of our students. Universities are neat places in any subject when you get lots of smart and bright people who are very passionate about a subject, usually amazing things happen. Thinking about, you know, going into game development or interactive entertainment, you can look at SMU and you go, these people are attracting the best of the best and, and, and I want to be part of that, that, that ecosystem.